Hey YouTube, just to show you quickly my ramp pump. I built this myself and um, this is how it's working. You don't want to put your fingers in there, you'll probably lose them. Right, then the pipe goes all the way from the pressure tank to that and it goes about 30 meters to my house. So it's quite a climb. See my drive pipe. I'm going to show you the reservoir just now. Just to give you guys an idea of the size of this thing, I'm going to put... Whoop! That's very cold. Alright, my hand. Let's put it up there. You can see, get my hand. Alright, I'm going to show you quickly the drive pipe and the reservoir. Alright. So here yeah, I'm at the bend, you can see there's the pump there, and it goes all the way here, up to that square concrete reservoir that I built there, and here as you can see there's another pipe here, I'm going to do a DIY how you build your own ramp pump, and I'm going to use my design so Keep a watch on my channel, I'm going to do this in a couple of days from this video and I'm going to build from scratch a new one. So for all the guys who would like to build their own and have some, have an idea of how it's done, then you can modify your own design or even use my, my design if you would like. Alright, here's the reservoir, as you can see I put the steel block in front of my ship not to get them because I've lost some sheep. Actually the ramp pump sucks them in and then they drown, so just have it. See here's the one that I'm using at the moment and there's number two I'm gonna show you guys how to build. So right. And here is a certain pump. I actually bought this very cheap from a guy that said it was broken, so I fixed it. And it's at the moment pumping with the ramp pump. See here it goes pipe there and then it's I'm gonna show you the joint at where the ramp pump and the ZM pump meets together. I'm going to show you how it's running. Actually, it's, it's a similar as a wind pump. In this case, it only uses two persons. You can see the left and the right. The one sucks, and while the other one's pushing the water, and so vice versa the whole time. It doesn't give me that much of water. The ramp pump is definitely the big brother here. But I'm going to show you the, the outlet just in a second. Alright, so you can see it down at the riverbed there, you can see the, can't see the pump, but just to give you an idea, so yeah, the two pipes come from, one from the Zetan pump, there at the back, the ramp pump here at the front, and it always goes, it joins to this T here, and it goes to this 80 millimeter PVC pipe, and it drives all the way 30 meters up, there's a tree line there to actually, um, it surprised what to do a small irradiation system. I'm gonna show the outlet just now. Alright. So there the tree line there at the bottom. On the very 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 bottom. That's where the ramp pump is. Alright, so the pipe comes all the way up here. You see uh, here it comes. And just to show you guys the water outlet sort of. Okay, I'm gonna open this right now. Alright, okay, so you saw the water outlet, so it goes all the way here to this pipe. And I'm gonna show you the sprinkler that is actually pulling at the moment. Right, now you can see the sprinkler. This all has come from the ramp. If I would judge the water flow, I would probably say, in my opinion, about 1,200 liters per hour. So, keep a watch out for my channel. About a couple of days from now, I'll do a detail DIY how to build your own pump. So, please have a look and thank you for watching my video.